Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, as promised, I told you guys the following week that I would post a video of ideas for this little faux memo printer. And you guys, um, that this printer being sent to me was only required one video. So the fact that I'm posting two videos just shows how much I really love this little tiny printer. Okay, let's jump straight into it. First thing is shipping, like shipping stuff, you guys, um, when you mail stuff. This one right here is a little template in the app because you have to have a, the app to work this thing. And it's just like a little Christmas border, as you can see. So this was the templates and then you go to the frame. So it was like a Christmas frame. And then I just typed in like a fake address, Craftsville, California, Crafty Girl. And then you can also do return shipping labels. So you could just cut out. I did this just in the regular notes section. I did, you know, a fake address, glue gun drive, Hobbiesville, California. So these are two little options you can do real quick, you know, just print them out. I almost wish I could print a fake stamp. <laughs> then on the back, I have, um, I just signed my signature TB for Tony Bruno. And I used the scan option on the phone memo printer. So I just scanned my signature. Um, it was just the TB part. And then I went ahead and cut it with a little scalloped punch. I didn't know if whole, what's this called? Paper punching, like something sticky, like a sticker with uh, like a shiny. I didn't know if it would like bend it and not cut, cut nicely. So I'm gonna show you guys. Here's just a little image from one of their like clip art things. So you just pop it in and you can size these images that they have. Look, cuts like butter. So there's no like bending it, getting stuck in this, trying to rip it out, none of that. Super cool, right? So you can like do thank you, this and that, stick little labels anywhere and everywhere. So there's three little ideas just for sending a cute little card. Um, also with like shipping stuff, you guys, there is a, um, in the toolbox, there is a banner mode and it prints everything out, you know, long ways on the tape versus like up and down like this. So I did do not bend. Maybe your mail carriers will read for once. <laughs> um, the only thing is, is I couldn't figure out how to do a space in between the words. So I just put a period, do not bend like so on a little mailer. Um, another thing with those things is I was labeling my linen closet. Anything like with the clear bins, um, I was just sticking big old labels on there. So my husband, maybe my mother-in-law, if she offers, <laughs> once I have the baby, like, can somebody change the sheets and do all the bedding for me? So I labeled all of the bedding sizes and everything. I'll insert a photo right here. Um, the only thing I don't suggest is you using these labels, um, the long labels or whatever, the banner style mode, don't put it on a bumpy surface. So those big black bins that go in your attic or your garage, it has a texture to the bin. It's not a flat surface. So I only would recommend using these stickers on a flat plastic surface, not the bumpy, rigid, or any type of textured bin. Next, you guys saw kind of in my first video is just in your, if you have a planner, this is kind of like a weekly little notepad I got. I want to say from like Target. You can put in your Happy Mailer, your TNs, whatever. And it's like the perfect little width. So this is just a cute, one of the little templates and then um, you can type in and it just automatically adds a bullet. So just like your grocery list and it can keep going and going versus like writing, like pick up dry clean. Then Thursday, there's another little template that says study notes and on there with your finger, you can write on your screen. So I put exam tomorrow. Um, clearly I can write better than this with a pen. So this is a little bit hard writing with your finger on the screen. Maybe if you have one of those like touch pens for your iPhone or whatnot. And then over here, there's like a little um, birthday template. So I just put Kim's birthday at 12 p.m. for the weekend. Lots of planner ideas I saw on YouTube for that. Something for crafty people or super organized is like color swatches and stuff. So in the notes section, there's a little like icon that says tables and you could do your tables like four by two, six by two, you like it'll just make, it'll adjust the squares on how many squares you have and how long you keep going. So for instance, I just did Nouveau Drops. Um, you can type words in there. I just did generic. These aren't the names of the, the actual Nouveau Drops, but white, pink, glitter, orange, and you can keep going and stuff. But those are like 
some ideas you could do. I'm sure there's more ideas than you guys just looking at this. Next, they're just like little thank you notes like on any type of packaging that you do. Um, this one was actually thank you in black font, but in the notes, and then you upload the image through the notes section. And then when you like move around the setting, did the opposite of it when I was uh, messing around with it. So it did thank you and you could just stick this on anything if you can make anything or sell anything. Another thing is name tags. This, this hello my name is, was just an image off of Google and I saved the image to my camera roll. And then I just printed it and I wrote with marker, Tony. So like if you're somewhere, crafty meetup or not even craft related, but you know, like a school, birthdays, stuff like that, you could totally make little things like this. This next idea is actually from Faux Memos video that I saw. And it was for like, because this printer does only print in black and white because it's, there's no ink, you guys. You don't have to buy ink cartridges ever again you have to buy the sticky paper or the regular paper but you never have to buy ink it's a thermal so it literally like burns the image or the word or the photo into the paper versus using ink so that is super neat you don't have to worry about replacing stuff so it was printing like this little um what is this guy a lego from google i just saved it to my camera roll it was just plain and then the kids can color it in like little um handmade stickers you do these for birthday parties like look so I uploaded this one into the notes section and then because if you just upload a photo, it's going to print the photo like this. You can't add text or anything. So you have to upload it through the notes section and in the notes section, you can add text. So for instance, a birthday party, you can do custom little like goodies or stickers or whatnot on their stuff. So this says Nixon's birthday, a little Mickey Mouse that the kids can color. My daughter is like, hurry up, color these for my video. <laughs> so little after the kind of like little coloring books but custom stickers you know perfect for like kids events or thingies next um if you guys make handmade goodies obviously i don't have anything handmade handmade or baked wise <laughs> so i can't bake so i stuck some chocolates in there but look you could do like a cute little ingredients um i just printed this generic one off of google it's i think it's the actual ingredients for like a snickers bar but if you hand make stuff and you want to give it to your neighbors or school or goodies for like a thing and they're handmade and someone may be like allergic to stuff or gluten-free this and that you always have the option to make print out a little a little um a little ingredient label and to get the um ingredients to print like this uh what landscape you have to upload the image or whatever it is um through the notes section and then that way you can rotate it so yeah that's just an idea bake sales stuff like that another thing um this was gifted to me by one of my subbies trisha thank you girly um she did a little book and it says like fall in love and right here I just printed, this was um, a pumpkin carving day. So you can see all the little, three little pumpkins. I just typed out pumpkin carving word by itself. And then over here, I just did the date. My son picking up his pumpkin. There's the pumpkin up close that I carved. Cute little page. So you could just do stuff like this. Um, somebody told me that the photos don't last long. Like it just fades away after a couple years. So if it's something super important, maybe just use like a regular photo printed from photo paper. Um, and next, another little idea for like crafty people, um, pen paling people, <laughs> super generic, but this is a little foldable three, three page pocket letter. Um, I, you get your little cards in there. And then I know that pocket letter people or even happy mailing people currently loving Christmas music, Grinch movie on repeat, hot cocoa, cozy fireplaces and soft blankets. So you can print it out if it's perfectly in these little slits. Um, I just, or you can stick this to the back of your card, you know? So when they turn it around, they can see that. Either or. And then also, very popular in Happy Mail, um, Made With Love Signs. So this says Made With Love Craft Purge. They have this little like, like pencil case in the images. And then this little glue gun, I just uploaded from the internet saved it to my photos and then uploaded it as a photo and just shrunk it down to size, put it, it's a little glue gun. Made with love. So yeah, those are the 14 ideas that I was trying to brainstorm. I was like having my husband like, what, what could I print? <laughs> or what can I, what can you make with this thing? So he was helping me as well. So yeah, so it's not just for making lists, you guys. I'm hooked. I'm already on my second roll. I love this thing. All right, have fun guys.